It's two o'clock, yeah. We can start. So I finished every Rule 1 level last time, except for Minim's level, where I, I can see what to do, but I just didn't want to go for the effort of trying to execute it. And then I didn't play SQ Ron's level because he wasn't there. And I like to play levels when the creators are there. So we're on Herd Behavior, the last Rule 1 level, by SQ Ron. 100 Lemmings, we can kill two of them if we want. Oh, and this is using the new Psychedelic Tile set. I didn't like the old Psychedelic Tile set, but the new one... Hmm. The new one looks very nice. Alrighty, so we got water there. Some builders, miner, uh, any trap? Okay. I think they can walk up all of that. And we got ten climbers as well. That's interesting. Your, okay, Eco says his Rule 3 level is easier than his Rule 2 level, so if you want a better warm-up, then that would be more suited. Thanks for the heads up. I appreciate that. Alright. So we can build here. Well, you know what I like to do. I like to start by just trying stuff. Also, I love this music. we can mine through all that. Oh, and we're going to need to build into the wall. So we only have one builder left, so the question's going to be how do we turn a lemming around at the end. Well, we do have a bomber. The music comes from the game Sheep, and the track is called Technopolis. Yeah, I see. Okay. So this is just going to be a matter of when to send a climber, I think. That's the wrong skill. Still too early. Alright. Honestly, it's the easy and simple levels that I like. I mean, there's definitely a place for the brutally difficult levels, but I like the easier ones a little more. I do vaguely remember, there was one track you made that was called, like, Sheep Space, that you used for your, uh, teleporter level, Nico. Oh, that's a nice one. I even saved an extra lemming. Was that a back route by any chance? Well, <laughs> Eskiron just gave me the thumbs up emoji, so I assume that that's intended. <laughs> That was really nice. Great music, looks very pretty. It was a single screener. Not trivial, not trivially easy. Just just challenging enough to get your brain thinking a little bit. But not too bad. 
It's in case the miner continues through the builder. Oh, that's very nice of you. So that's where you can lose the extra one. I mean, so you only really needed two out of the ten climbers. That's cool. Not a whole lot of people use the uh, red herring skills. I'm one of the few people who do, so... <laughs> All right, that's cool. Uh, I don't... Crane might join later, so I'll hold off on doing his rule two level. Uh, <laughs> not a bitter timing effort by Ihotolat and DMA. He actually put a time limit on it. Okay, well... Let's try Highland Fleen. Oh yeah, was this... So this is obviously an Onomore Lemmings level. I only played for that game once, so I'm not super familiar with it. Was this the level that made it in the Havoc ranking that, like, I'm like, what? Why was this not in, like, the Crazy ranking? It looks familiar. It looks pretty. I remember there was there was a rock-themed level in the Havoc ranking where I'm like, what? That was really easy. Why was this so late in the game? I don't know. Nice change from your levels in the previous contest. I mean, I'm not going to say you're wrong. <laughs> I, I enjoyed that more than a lot of the previous contest levels. Anyhow. or Also, I'm sorry, sorry it's not Highland Fleen. It's Highland Fleen! All caps. Alright, DOS music, but it's not the under construction music. We have one... I was about to say, we have one destructive skill. No, we don't. We have two... We have two arty. I see. Alright, well, clearly we gotta build around this obstacle. Oh. Alright, well, if we do that, we'll need to find a way to, um... So we got free... Blockers. Okay. But we can kill five lemmings. Oh. Oh no, we have four blockers. Alright. Because of the time limit, let's max out the release rate right, right away. So let's do something like this. Because we don't want any of them to splat. You think there are two possible solutions to this level? That's cool. Alright, maybe I'll hold off on getting them out of there. And that's probably splat height, isn't it? Yes, it is. Hmm. Okay, well, that's... That's not ideal. Alright, and one bomber's not going to be enough to do that, so... Instead, what we're going to do is we are going to build them out. Because we basically have an unlimited amount of builders on this level. Oh, wait, that's our one guy. That is excellent. That's exactly what I want. Okay, that's not good. I don't want 39 walkers all squished together. That's that's a bad thing. I'd like to spread them out a little bit. So maybe... Oh. 
Maybe we'll spread them out a bit more like that. It's probably still going to be problematic, but... At least this way we might be able to spread them out a little bit. So that's five. I don't really want to do that, no. Oh, and there is a trap. Wait, that trap looks weird. That's not how those traps used to look. What the heck? What's going on there? Hmm, so I don't like... Don't like that. Alright, well, hang on. How many buildings? We're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna need six builders, prob probably, for this side. Because we're gonna need one to get over there. I don't think we can cross both gaps with one builder. And then we're gonna need, so we're gonna need two for that. One to cancel the miner, probably. So I actually, we are a little bit, we are a little bit on a builder crunch, actually. So we can use just one builder to get past there, if we time it right. I need to stop increasing the release rate on the first frame. Because then you can't cancel it without manually changing. Also, this is probably one of my least favorite of the DOS sounds, or soundtracks. A smile if you love one in one. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, gotta send him out a little earlier. Oh, you find this track relaxing? Your least favorite was who is how much is that doggy in the window? That's funny, because for me, the DOS version of that sound is the only one that sounds good. Every other version just is like unhearable. Oh come on. Don't don't be like that. The worst version of the doggy song by far was the one in Pimo Limbs. By far. This is kind of d stupidly precise. This is one of those timing based precision things that I don't like.
this is just, why did why is there two in the front now? This is dumb. Yeah. I wasn't aware that the game uh, the Game Gear Master System had the doggy psalm because they removed a few psalms. Oh wait, no, I remember those. Those those are okay. Those are all right. So that's still too close together, and also. Lower the release rate. Oh, that's bizarre. <sighs> this is very, this is very irritating. I don't want to use two blocker. No, I'm. Tr the whole point is I'm trying to save a builder here. I'm trying to get up here in three builders because I'm going to need six. Because I need two bombers to get down for here to cut the splatfall. Going to need one builder there, two builders here, one to stop the miner, most likely. I could be wrong about that, though. Oh, hang on. Maybe I'm just wrong about that. Oh, well, I'm gonna need one to keep them back. I can't let free guys go with the builder because then they'll splat. But maybe I can cheese the ending a little bit. If I can actually, if I can spare that builder, I'm good. If I can spare that builder, I can mine them out, build, and then build there as well. Okay. My master plan is unfolding. <laughs> so what if we just, what if I just did... Oh, do I already delay this as much as... I do. Bother. Alright, so who's the builder? Oh, stop thinking! I did not click. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, this looks a bit more promising. Crank that a release rate up though. Oh, Crane has arrived. Welcome, Crane. Okay, he, this is a level I really like. There's some been there have been some very good contest levels thus far. And then Minim's Rule 1 level, which I really did not like. But there we go. Unless wait. Do I have to save an ex But how? on. How, though? Well, that's the closest I've gotten thus far, so I'll save that. I guess, so I'll give what Eco says, I'm gonna give what Eco suggested a try. So 
So I need like four lemmings or so. So let's try clustering them together like this. Okay, this is a good suggestion. Come on, be faster. No. You fail. All right, I guess I gotta put that blocker slightly closer. something like that. I guess that's the that's one thing about this track. It's not really getting on my nerves. Oh no. They're gonna be too close together, those sec two bombers, aren't they? No! Why? <laughs> do I have to space the last two guys apart? Yeah, I, I probably do. Uh. Oh, that's right! I, you're right! I can use a blocker. Oh, good call. That's also really precise. Holy cow. Okay, so this should be enough. And I- oh, and I had an extra builder. Wow, how about that? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, you don't actually need two bombers? Alright, well that's a solution. That was a tricky one to suss out, holy cow. <laughs> Harder than I was expecting. But that was good, I, I like that one. Even though I said it was dumb a few times. Alright, so I guess I'll move on to, now that Crane is here, let's try Crane's one-way digging to freedom level. A simple plan. Oh, is this like I have a cunning plan? Because that, that one was should not have been in Tricky. That should have been in the Mayhem difficulty. Anyhow, 100 means we can kill three of them. Two minutes! Oh boy, so at least, no matter what we have to do, it's going to be, we can do it fast. Ooh, nice music. Okay, so thinking ahead, we got three climbers, only one floater though. <laughs> okay. I think I see how this is gonna go. Well, maybe, hang on. I think, oh, we have two miners. So I think the only tricky thing is going to be making sure guys don't turn around. Oh, we can what? 
two guys die? Okay. Well, we can do this to prevent them from turning around in the future. Alright. I think that's pretty good. So now what I'm thinking is we can send three climbers up. One will blow up up here so that it'll cut the splat fall, as well as allowing them to prevent stop from climbing up higher. Another guy can blow up down here and build to turn around, and he can climb up and then mine for this. going to be too high up. Well, that's definitely going to be too high up to mine from, actually. 100%. Hello, Nessie! Welcome! I think I'm on the right track, at least at the beginning part. I don't think there's a much more efficient way you can do that. You clearly need to hold the lemmings in somehow. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Alright, so the turning around thing, that's gonna be the tricky part. Oh, it would be nice if we could save all three bombers for that part. Just send two climbers for now. Yeah, and then we do something like this. Oh, that's clever. Oh, but we need to crank up the release rate before that happens. Oh, that's clever. I like that a lot. <laughs> that was really fun. Woo! <laughs> that's good. That's that's the kind of clever I like. It's like one trick, kind of, that like the level centered around. And a few, like, minor over ones. But, oh, that was great. That was really fun. All right, we're actually ripping through these levels way better than we did on the first stream. So let, let's try Eco's Rule 2 level, which he says is very hard. Not a bitter timing effort. Well, I'm going to hold you to that. This better not be a timing-based level because I don't... I don't particularly like <laughs> I don't particularly like timing-based levels, but 5 minutes, 55 seconds. All right, so it's bitter lemmings. So, we only have two floaters. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wait, 
Hang on a second. Uh-huh! <laughs> oh, I've heard this music before. Somewhere. Something. <laughs> That's something? <laughs> I don't think that's right, but... Oh, well. Already I'm screwing up. Alright. So we only have one builder, and we clearly need to use that builder to stop the lemmings from splatting. There's literally no other way. Which means we can't build over the gap, which means we kind of got to do a basher, stop him, bomb, block to the exit. So that's going to be one basher, one bomber, and two blockers right there. So. Is that going to be enough to stop them from splatting? It totally is. Sweet! Oh, but here. Uh oh, big time problem alert! Because now we can only kill one more lemmy. My solution will involve using a blocker and nuking him at the end, but we also need to use the bomber. So where did I lose a lemming? Can I just ask you right now, do you have to let one lemming splat? Or is there a way to save all lemmi lemmings into this pit? No one splats, okay. this better then. Just gotta be better, you know? It's very relaxing. Very relaxing music. I'm saying no one splats, no fiddling, no big timing. And no blocker for the... That's literally not possible, unless I have to use the bomber.
Huh. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that is pretty cool. But... Maybe I have to adjust the digger later, but otherwise correct. Okay. That's cryptic. Hello, DJ Feeler. Welcome. Welcome to the Lemming stream. Oh, I think I, I think I get what you're saying about the digger, perhaps. <laughs> now we can do something like this. Hey, bro, you're an athlete, right? something like this, and then now can we bash the blocker out without destroying everything? No, I don't think so. Have two bashers go together at some point? An interesting idea. One I would not have thought of. Oh my, wow. Wow. That's insane. I would never have figured that out if you had not said something, Crane. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, I just added a new trick to my arsenal. The only reason I tried that is because Crane said, Hey, try having two bashers go together. And that's, that is not something I ever think to do, is have two bashers ba go for one tunnel. Oh, but that's magnificent. Holy cow. Yeah, so the second one is closer to the blocker after he turns, thus he's able to dig him out. Oh, that's brilliant. That's freaking brilliant. 
That opens up a lot in other levels as well. Yeah. Oh, maybe that might have helped. That might have helped for Minim's Rule 1 level for executing that. So we literally have two levels left for the entire stream. Bookworm's Bite by Iho Tolat and Caution Open Pit by SQ Ron. Well, I just did an Iho level, so let's do SQ Ron's level. It's using the Machine Tile set, which I... I may have played, like, one level in the Machine Tile set before, but... If so, it's been a while. And we can kill 30 Lem means. Don't like that. Oh, boy. That, yeah, this is... You can only have two of each type of skill. Like in the music. Nessie says your solution to this level was kind of funny. Interesting. I adore the music. open-ended level. I kind of figured since you gave us basically an unlimited amount of skills. That's an ongoing joke with me, you know, where I'm like, oh, you ba we basically have an unlimited amount of ashes, and it's like, um, you only have, like, 12. Nessie just brute forced his way from the solution with no strategy. Oh, we have actually a long way to go. I don't want them to fall down there. Oh, wait a second. I can let a lot of lemmings die at the beginning, so hang on. I don't want... I do not want to use a bridge wall. too wasteful, that wastes too many builders when we can afford to let a lot of enemies die that aren't bombers.
That's a lot of women to hit. Maybe, maybe it can still work out. This amazing music is Hurricane Spider Factory. Ikotoa doesn't like it! Yeah, well, Iho likes the la 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 song, so his taste in music doesn't exactly match mine. Lemmings out. The question is, though, did I let too many lemmings go into the pit? No, I did not. <laughs> because I still have 13 bombers to spare. <laughs> oh, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Nice to, I like I like open-ended levels, but I like open-ended levels that are still a little bit tricky. And that that's kind of the problem that t the tame ranking had in Ono oh More Lemmings. It was just like 20 of everything on the simplest levels. It's like, okay, well, these are just effortless. That's not an effortless level. It's fairly simple, but you still have to think. All right. We already did Viridian Chapel. We're on Bookworm's Bite, the last level of the stream. This is literally the last level of the stream, everybody. I can't believe it. I can't remember the last time I... Well, I was going to say I can't remember the last time I beat all the contest levels, but I technically haven't beaten all these. I didn't beat Minim's Rule 1 level. I can see the solution. But I don't want to spend all that time fiddling with it to make it work. Anyhow, 10 lemmings. We've got to save all 10. Okay, I believe the hatch is in the upper left. Five platformers and three diggers. And they're all climbers. They're all pre-assigned to be climbers. That's good to know. Ooh, this is pretty music. This is... <laughs> Guys, this is reminiscent of Ultimate Chicken Horse music right here. I'm not sure if it's Dance Party that this sounds like, but there's an Ultimate Chicken Horse level that definitely sounds like this. Oh. That's what I was looking for. But knowing Eco, it's not going to be this easy. Yeah, because that only takes one. It's from Risk of Rain 1. Wait, is that... I've never seen a trap like that before. But never in all my life. Hmm. Oh, the candles are traps too. That's nice. <laughs> also, I think it's weird that these are rainbow now in clear physics mode. All right. Huh. 
because we're going to need more than... We're going to need all three pla remaining platformers to get over here, I'm sure. Oh, but hang on. Well, no, hang on. That wouldn't work. That wouldn't work one bit. Yeah, three for the second half. <laughs> yeah, the Lemmy Mona Lisa. <laughs> oh, it has green hair. I didn't even notice that. That's so good. That's fantastic. Also, I think this uses some of the same pieces that I used in my Legend of Fantasy Castle level. I think I used that clock face. Alright, well, they are all climbers. I need to remember that. That was lower down. <laughs> okay. So this will require some sussing out, won't it? Well, I can't dig all the way through that wall. I don't think that's going to do any good. But I can. Actually, wait. Hang on. Just for science's sake. That does create a full platform. It gets built into the wall. Okay. I will have to remember that for future levels. And see, I can dig down here and platform over there. Four platformers and two diggers are already set. Yeah. Not even close. You also locked the release rate at 97, which is a very precise number, and that worries me a little. I mean, it means I don't have to... No precision. This is Lemmings. Of course there's precision. Every level requires some level of precision. I'm not even sure if I've done the first part left, so... Or first part correctly. Platform will turn around regardless of what you do, so how can you work with that? Oh, so I did do the first part correctly? <laughs> oh. I, I was thinking, I'm like, I did, must not have done the first part correctly. Not that platformer. What do you mean, not that platformer? Yes, I know I have to use four for the first two. What I'm asking is, the digger plus the platformer in the top, right here, is that correct? I'm aware that I need to use four for all of this part, as well as one digger. But right now I've got them trapped. 
Okay, that's what I was asking. Because I was asking if I got this part right, and you guys were talking about this part. You didn't catch anything between you finishing Caution Open Pit. All the people at your house are trying to use the internet simultaneously. I mean, the same is true for my condo, it's just I'm the only person living here, so... Technically, all the people here are using my internet simultaneously. Not helpful, I know. Also, I need a digger for the end. Oh, duh, I need a digger for the end. Hmm, I see. Still leaves one hole, one pixel. Okay, well, hang on. Simple solution. give me enough time. Some things I'm trying are stuff that you tried as well. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Now that's it. This is very interesting. Two limbs. I, I, I can't do just two. faith in the good book, but I don't see the good book anywhere here on the level. Um, that's right, the candle holder is going to be small enough that they can... Oh my gosh, really? That's a bit on the precise side, wouldn't you say? What do you mean, no precision needed? That's like the biggest lie that was ever told. platformers in the wrong place. Um. I don't think so. I don't think he is. <laughs> Wait, oh, unless you're still
guess he could platform from farther back. No, even then. Even then, he's still not good enough. This trick discovered by a mom to save hundreds of lemmings. I mean... Can he dig Oh, hey Proxima, welcome! Can he dig down the overhang, i.e. under the first digger? Oh, is that what you're on about? some clever tricks in this level. Oh my gosh. That's such a... That is easily my favorite exit. That is also easily a my why. Oh, you've got... <sighs> I repeat, this level doesn't require precision, the biggest lie that was ever told. The way you can determine, hey, this, this level doesn't involve actual precision, could you release it for DOS lemmings and have it be fair? That's the test. That's the barometer test. You know a level's not precise if you could have it available on DOS Lemmings and it would be a fair level. You could not have this on DOS Lemmings and have it be fair. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's still a very cool level. Still cool, cool trick. But say there's there's no precision needed, bullcrap. <laughs> Absolute bullcrap. <laughs> Thanks for your help though, Crane. Th that was... <laughs> there are quite a few uh, positions where it's possible. I, I guess that's true, yeah. I could have gone even further to the left, and it would have been fine. But it still needs precision, so... Eh. Still, a lot of great levels. Holy cow. Like, I, there was not a single level that I played during this stream that I didn't like. That's fantastic. Like, the one I'd say that was closest was the Highland Flame level. But even then, that was still a good level. I was just stupid in the way I was doing it. Oh, that was fun. And that was barely even an hour. And here I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to do all the levels of this stream. But no, I was able to. With help from the audience, of course. Now, if the big check marks between... Um, I beat Viridian Chapel. I showed everybody that I beat Viridian Chapel. It's my level! <laughs> Why is there no check mark next to it? Don't get me wrong, I did not... I did not do that, but... Oh, you guys can't see what I, where I was pointing because the window doesn't appear on the stream. <laughs> yeah, I beat Crane's Rule 1 level. That was definitely the hardest... Well, that and Eco's Rule 2 level. There's no way I would have figured out the trick if it weren't for Crane's help. So both of those, I'd say, were really up there in terms of difficulty, as well as Minim's Rule 1 level. But all things considered, I'm very impressed with the contest levels. Like, it's going to be tight competition. Pretty tight competi competition for... I don't know which ones I'm going to vote for. That'll be... That'll be good, though. That'll be good. Uh... 